My name is Kevin Brown. I'm from Baltimore. I'm the owner of the Station of Arts Cafe Gallery and Nancy by Snack. I consider myself an entrepreneur and a business consultant. I normally uh, hit the cafe around 6.30 or so, and I just really try to set up a vibe for the day. In my own head, you know, it always starts with be nice or leave. I, I, that's what I stand in. Be nice or leave. This is not a space for you to be mean. <laughs> Time consuming. How long does it take? It takes 15 minutes to make them and it only takes two seconds to eat them. People put like two in their mouth at the same goddamn time. <laughs> they be on it. So it's all good. It's for, it's for a very special friend. Uh -huh. I don't go through this all the time. Only special occasions. Yeah, my dear friend is having a birthday party tonight. Nice. She requested these deviled eggs. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Call darling, happy birthday! Oh, you owe Tuna! I know, right? <laughs> Shit, I'm giving her a hit the 6-0, honey. I know. I know. I know. That's called a hit. That's what I tell That's people. Gone. It hit. Be nice, don't be an asshole. Thank you! Thank you. Nancy Cafe, which is where we are now, is an expansion of our Station North Arts Cafe, a small cafe we opened up in 2005 over at uh, 1816 North Charles Street. Uh, we had a great success there um, and actually grew natural, organically to this space. It just made uh, sense for our second location to be in an arts school because we're an arts cafe, um, a creative cultural hub kind of cultural canopy for artists in the neighborhood and, and spaces beyond. Make sure it's getting nice and high. Whoa, that's a lot of coffee. But I need a lot of coffee to get my day started. Well, we started as a restaurant. And uh, because we're in an arts district, a lot of the artists, my clients, my customers, base customers were artists. So, you know, our menu was skewed to artists. Small batch from scratch, inexpensive artists. That's what, that's what the artists of, the essence of the arts is. Opened up a coffee shop because we needed a gathering place, a, a, people, a place where people could come and be among like-minded people, uh, share something good to eat. Um, and then we expanded about two years into the restaurant business. We started the gallery. So in 2007 or 8, we started the art galleries. Uh, the art that you see behind me on this wall is all art that we have purchased since we opened up our gallery 13 years ago. Um, our commitment is that you have a show, you buy a piece. I don't want somebody to say, I had a show at Station North or I had a show at Nancy's. I didn't sell one damn piece. That's not good for the artist. And that's not good for the gallery owner. So at that point, we made a, a commitment. If we, have, if we show your work, we're going to at least buy a piece. And our collection has grown through that effort. So everything that you see on all these walls is owned by yours truly. And some of them were gifts. Um, um, some of them I paid a lot of money for. Um, but it supports art and artists. Absolutely. Ernest Shaw, who you just left, I bought that piece from him, Yellow Nude, and the Baldwin piece. That was a gift from Ernest. And then Amiri Baraka, which is right behind Will's head, uh, was a gift. So you, you buy, and sometimes it's gifted to you. He knows I'm a big James Baldwin person. I met James Baldwin when I was 22 years old, and it was life-changing. And so there's always a lot of Baldwin here um, because he's somebody who really just right-sided, right-tracked, I gotta say, my life as a young black man growing up. This was a man who was intelligent, who was smart, who was uh, very forthcoming in his thoughts, who was a great novelist, essayist, polemicist, a uh, social documentarian, a uh, civil libertarian. He was uh, a, a, a person for all the people trying to bring the races together. And part of this coffee shop, part of this cafe, part of this vibe, part of this environment is about bringing the races together. Black, white, young, old, straight, gay, transgender. This is that space. There's no judgment here. Just one rule, be nice or get the fuck out. No, to no tolerance for people not being nice. Not here. World's too big. Go be, go be mean out there.
That's how I feel. Well, I think, I think any neighborhood needs a cultural canopy. I keep using that term cultural canopy because it invites all people. We don't have to agree with each other. We don't have to love each other. But we have to be tolerant of each other in that space. And so it's a no-nonsense space. Most people who know me who come in here, they're going to get straight from the hip, uh, straight no chaser, kick no frosting from me because that's pretty much who I am. But with respect and with love and um, never with malice. Um, people need to be free in external spaces. That's important. My camps. <laughs> and they want to know what they don't actually want to drink the beer, which I had no business doing. You can't drink a beer outside. You can sell Percolet and Percocet for beers, boxes, new cigarettes, body wash, but don't drink a beer. <laughs> I, I've never lived anywhere else but Baltimore. I was born here in Baltimore. I was born on Baltimore Street. You know, I was born at home on Baltimore Street, so Baltimore's really in my blood. I have no intention to ever leave this town or to be run out of this town, or people say bad things about this town, they think the town is the wire or homicide or life on the street, that it's some bad place. And it really is, and it's got its scab, it's, it's got its sores, they heal. But it's a good town, it's a town that deserves, uh, a town that's on the comeback. So I would never exit the town, I would always defend the town. And in saying that, the artists who I've seen grow in the town have done extremely well. People like Ernest Shaw, Jeffrey Kent, the incredible Joyce Scott, Micah graduate, one of the first famous Micah graduates, winner of the MacArthur Award last year and the Baker Award and the Sawyer Prize. I mean, uh, a very decorated uh, fine artist, beat artist, a quilter, a mother was a quilter. Um, Dr. Leslie King Hammond, an incredible jewelry maker who was the dean here at, at Micah. Um, I could go on and on and on. Um, the incredible Amy Sherrill, whose studio was just across the street from where we sit. Uh, on and on, there's great artists here who are doing lots and lots of great things. Great photographers, great painters. Uh, the painting over my head, uh, Alma Roberts, an incredible what I call second stage painter. Somebody who came to painting it at, in her 60s and who really just embraced and shifted how I feel about abstracts. I always, for years and years, just bought that uh, representational art. But I really love abstracts now because of Alma and her brush stroke. I just love it. I love what she does. And a lot of the new artists, the young artists here at MICA, uh, like Justin Stafford. I have a lot of his, uh, I have a lot of respect for Justin Stafford and what, he, what he's putting out. Uh, he's on the move. Yeah, Jarrell Gibbs, uh, on the move. Uh, Will Watson, who graduated last year. I actually commissioned him to paint my father. He painted my father's portrait last year. It was incredible. Uh, so you, you just, I, and again, I make him an egg sandwich, we strike up a conversation, the next thing I know, I, he's commissioned me to paint my dad. So. Yeah. This is for you. Oh. Coffee's over there. Thank you.